Alrighty guys, welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode, where today we are starting Season 2, so yeah. Um, hopefully this game lasts me the next two weeks, and yeah, because uh, Jurassic Park the game has still not showed up, so we're going to just hop right into this. I know you all already voted for Season 2, so that's what we were going to do anyways. Um, and of course, we're going to hit continue your story. Uh, import save one. Okay, I guess I can import the save. I did not know that. I thought it was going to be something like Wolfenstein where you, like, just select some stuff. Like, oh yeah, this is what I did. Like, you know, that major choice. Um, but let's hop straight into episode one here, guys. Oh my, it's making me adjust everything. I still, I'd like, first time launching this game ever. I still have to do all the set, settings set up. I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Oh, uh-huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah. I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. It's all fair game if it's helping you to tell a good story. It's not like you're lying to, like, trick anyone. Yeah. See, that's exactly what I thought. If you're planning on including schematics, we should talk, though. I think they I'm changed okay. Olivia's name. I had been hoping or to not name, uh, God found damn it. Day, but, voice. Uh, I'm stupid. Next year. They changed her I voice can't actor. It's founding day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah. We were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um... Hey, come on guys, we all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. You don't need to apologize. We're just hanging out. Right. Sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. I, I, I mean, uh... Oh. So, what's up? 
I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. Oh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said, next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. Ha! <laughs> ah, oh, so freaking cute. I feel like they changed Olivia's personality as well. So the other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Of course. We were all part of taking down the Witherstorm. Redstonia even hosts a whole dance in Eligard's honor. Yeah, it's mostly TNT and fireworks in Boomtown. Magnus let me help design the firework finale this year. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. I am going to see you all again. Same time next week. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! Sorry if I'm being really quiet. I have not seen this game at all, and I really kind of just want to watch and have an experience. I'll talk every now and again, but yeah, I'm sorry if this isn't your cup of tea, guys. But this is what I want to do this episode, so. Oh, I just noticed the Witherstorm banner in the back. It looked really cool. Behind the parrot there in that one scene. I realized that some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. I really do love this place, and it just keeps getting cooler. Right? I love it too. It's exactly the kind of home I'd always dreamt of having. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but... I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. What do I do here? Um, you know what? Let's help some people set up. We know we got to go to the mines. Where are the mines? I didn't even see where they... I guess we got to find them. Either way, we can go that look around. Those would look awesome on the order hall's front lawn. Mm hmm. Oh, that just reminded me of a mod I used to play. It was, uh... What was it? I can't Jesse remember dude! its name. Oh, look, Nelsier! I thought you were out seeing the worlds. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though? Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. But sometimes you just want to have a place to store your junk, okay? Well, I'm so glad you're here. Man, that is just the sort of warm welcome I had hoped. You rock, Jesse, dude. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! Okay. Ah, a blank canvas. What am I needing to build here? Oh, it full on! No, it's not. It's not gonna let me do this full on. 
What do I do? Um, uh, you know what? Hold up. Let's do a smiley face. Okay. It's not going to be perfect. I'm sorry. It's not. Oh. Oh, here. I got an idea. Ugh, let's go this way. I can't figure out how to rotate the camera for some reason. I might not have enough yellow to do a smiley face. Hold up, hold up. Do I got... Uh, how do I remove? Oh! I didn't want to do that, but that helps. Okay. Oh, no. No! There's no just back button, really? Oh, yeah, there is. I'm just not hitting it. So then we go boom, 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 boom. Okay, rotate this way. Let's do that and then that. Okay, okay. No, ah, let's go this way. Boom, boom. Then we get the eyes. This is the derpiest smiley face ever. Uh, and finished. That is some sweet work. Nice. I did some pixel art. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo. And don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft. Mm-hmm. Is that Stampy? I swear I just saw Stampy. I can't remember the other gal's name. But she was at the Haunted Mansion as well. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> Wink, get back here. Leave <laughs> Jesse alone. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. Well, it's so great to see you. We need to hang out. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, totally. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Okay, it's Stacy. Oh, wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Pet the dog. Make sure you always pet the dog. Here, Wink. Bone. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're going to need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. Alrighty. So they, I guess we can check in with them later. Anything down here? Looks like we got two. Let's talk to this citizen. I probably really shouldn't be talking to a lot of people because I feel like oh, it's actually wow. like well, it not wanting really me to waste you. time, but I'm wasting a lot. My friend told me this was a recreation of your first big build. Way back before the wither storm, before all that stuff. Is it true? You have got to tell me more about it. I can barely even picture it. I have devoured everything Lucas has written about you guys in those days. <laughs> All right. I love talking about the good old days. Yes. I'm just so curious. Where does your inspiration come from? Was there a deeper meaning? Oh, or like a critique of the world, maybe? I draw my inspiration from my friends. We were a team. It was a group effort. Oh, classic Jesse. I love that. The build I really wish I got to see was what you built to take down the Wither Storm. Now that must have been terrifying. The world coming apart at the seams. Tentacles everywhere. Well, it's like I said about drawing inspiration from my friends. We all gave each other strength during that fight. Amazing. I hope I have friends like that someday. Oh, you are just the best. 
Oh, and thank you so much for taking the time to stop and talk to me. Oh, not a problem. I'll see you around, all right? Okay. Uh, we got the Reuben monument. Did we still have him mounted up on the wall, or did it was this it just banners? I didn't I notice. You, was the pig oh, still on the wall? I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. He was a hero. He saved everybody. He'd be really excited about how great Beacon Town is now. I bet that's totally true. Oh my gosh, it's you! Oh, yep, it's me. What are, what are you doing here? Oh wow, this is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? I would love to. Seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm doing so way too much. much. I'm wasting All right, time. I see him. Okay, piggies. Show Jesse your good side. <laughs> That's Esteban, smushy cute cheeks, and Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. <laughs> Tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Reuben-esque. Hmm? Definitely Esteban. He's got the most intelligent face. Really? Ah, I knew that's who you'd choose. Fantastic. Congratulations. <laughs> <clears throat> Most intelligent face, but yet I'm eyes are pointing ready. in two different directions. Hi! It, it's built like a prey animal, Jesse. It's not that intelligent. I'm gonna steal some sugar cane. Sugar, nice! Okay, um... It's technically these last two, but I feel like I've wasted a lot of time. So let's go. Hello, you know Jesse. What? We'll check out Stampy and Stacy's, and then Stampy. we're gonna go to the mine. It needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the best, and I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem here, guys. Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go with those leading presentations again. Just, not everyone likes cake, Stampy. Oh, and pumpkin pie is the universally loved food? I think not. Why don't we have both? Oh, that's a wonderful idea, but we don't have enough ingredients. It's true. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide for us. She yes, literally just gonna be threw it in at circles me. circles all day, otherwise. <laughs> you know, there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. Oh, oh I don't have a ton eggs. of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that. I just spotted the eggs, too. Give me. Hey, uh, an egg. Maybe that'll help me settle Stampy and Stacy's little disagreement. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Thank you. Is there a crafting table anywhere? I didn't see one. Yes. Um. How do I, uh, craft? Okay, pumpkin pie is the easiest. So let's do that. Let's get some more sugar first. Get that white powder, you know. Okay, it's sugar in the middle, flour on the bottom. Oh, no, it was an egg on the bottom, right? Yeah, egg on the bottom. Pumpkin pie. There we go. Then for a cake, this is... No. How do I remove it? Eh. Put you there. Why can't I... Oh, because I don't have it selected. Dang. Maybe if I use more than one brain cell. Okay. Then it's... Sugar. This is literally a block of just food. Cake. Okay. We're good. We can back out now. 
Give he both. said cake, she said pie, and then I said, why don't we just have both? Oh, well, this is very surprising. Yeah, that's awesome. How did you do that? I eh, found some extra ingredients around town. No big deal. Well, that's fantastic, Jesse. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. This is perfect. Look, I gotta run. Petra's waiting. I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah, okay? we probably have made her wait way too long Bye. now. We need to get going. So let's try and head straight over to the mine. I need to head down this way, past the chickens, and then to the right, if I'm correct. Yep, that's where he is. Meet with Petra. Ooh, hey, sorry, not X. Jesse! Jesse! And here we are at the mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Oh, no. Thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly was. Stopping to help all those people. Helping them prepare for founding day. Very inspiring. I'll, uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Just stop worrying so much, would you? Stop, stop worrying. I can do that. It's so simple. Just stop worrying. Am I oversimplifying it? I'll, I'll work on it. Yeah, he's oversimplifying. Bye! It. Have a good time! Don't I always? Um, what happened to my armor as well? What happened to Tim's armor? Petra? Huh, I swear she said to meet right here. Petra! Where are you? Oh, stupid zombie. Oh, I miss this. <coughs> oh, smell not so much. Okay, so I actually well, have to uh, energy bar now. At least you still remember how to fight. Oh, hey. Hey, I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. Yeah, I guess it has been a while since I've done this. Well, that's obvious. You're not even wearing a good suit of armor. I didn't want to dent the good stuff, so what? Look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Broke it because it's a gold sword? These deadheads should help you dust off those cobwebs. <laughs> <laughs> Too slow, zombies. Typical. <laughs> my step yet well you sure showed me I don't know if I like the Glad combat you finally made it sometimes I worry you don't even have time for me your friends anymore the new combat system. I mean I get I that you like I your like job it. and everything but geez hey I'm here now aren't I I'll always make time for you yeah I guess but now that you mention it can't help but notice that we're missing one two three Three? Axel has boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas... Is writing. I figured. Man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, I'm just saying, I don't care how good Lucas's next book is, it's not exactly slaying a wither storm, you know? You're right. It is lame. It just isn't the same without them. See, I knew you'd get it. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. 
What exactly are we looking for? I am for, so Jonah? sorry. I did not I'll mean to burp into the mic. Tell you when we find it. Just trust me. It's important. What was what that? What was that? Come on, let's race. Wait, what? It's monster hunting time. Yeah. We have to dodge and ah! Hey, it's Jesse. What's up? Good to see ya. Oh, perfect. I'm starving. <laughs> hey, I was gonna eat that. Full on, just Obviously. snatch some cake. <laughs> okay, uh, did not give me an Everyone option get down! to it's jump. Gonna blow! <laughs> just jumped over TNT. Where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! Look down there! So you're is really that not a... gonna tell me what we're chasing? Is that a llama? Nope. The mystery is what Alpaca? makes it fun. Come on! I like it's still trying to ease me into the controls. And I'm used to the... Uh, the more fast paced ones at the very end of the last game. Look out! Wall spiders! I see them! That is a lot of spiders. They got a bit of an infestation going. Yeah. Is lava gonna stop them? It apparently did, okay. There! It went into that cave! On it! And Petra's in the home stretch! Jeez, more of these guys! Oh, Petra. My turn to save you, Petra. Ow. Ow, oh, no. I don't like these. These are tricky. They're beating me up. Uh, it's gonna take forever to get through these stupid web heads. Maybe we can steal Picking them off somehow. Ass. Like, maybe a little lava. Exactly. Whew, that totally did the trick. Ah, see ya. Hey, no fair. Maybe I didn't win, but that still felt awesome getting back out there. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like an alpaca. I am sneaking, I am sneaking. A llama? A llama? Awesome! We found it! Oh, your owner is gonna be so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? <laughs> It's 
It's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like a uh, treasure sniffing llama, or uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. Um, we just need to bring we... her back to her owner. Okay, okay, okay I'm sorry. We'll trust Petra on you this. You say it's important, then we'll trust I her. trust you. Yeah? Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? Just silence. Silence is an option. Uh, no! <laughs> That's what you get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Just grab the... <laughs> It's our llama, guys. Come on. How many people does it take to wrestle it? Oh my god, it's right on us. Oh, gross! Come on. Let's get after that armor-wrecking thing. Uh, hang on. It's super dark down there. We should make a torch. It's gonna make me craft it? Damn. Just can't do like, oh yeah, here's a torch. Llama, llama, llama. Where'd you go? After you, Mayor Jesse. Told you I'm not the mayor. I'm the... Leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and, like, town running things. <laughs> How the heck did you get up there? Who knows? It's coming down now. Maybe it is a treasure a sniffing llama. I can't talk, damn. Is that a glove? Ugh, <laughs> uh, get out of the way, I was looking at that. What's that? Only one way to find out. That creepy whisper. Uh, I didn't hear anything. Oh, great. It's whispering to me. Um. If, if I know anything for Warhammer 40k, any whispering artifact is definitely evil. What is it? Some sort of glove or gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. Pick it up, Jesse. Whoa! Uh, how did... where? What is this thing? Seems like it's not hurting you, and that's good. It looks kinda... Okay, actually it looks really cool. Uh, which I know might not be what you want to hear right now. It's not hurting me, but it keeps making these weird whispers. Uh, I haven't heard anything. Well, Maybe I'm uh, just here. going nuts? I'll help you take it off. <laughs> pull, Petra, pull! Okay, ow, wow. Stop. That thing is really stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. Man, what are the odds? Command blocks, portal keys, why is it always me? 
I don't know, but there's definitely a pattern. Uh-oh, get off the pyramid, quick! Did I make it? Oh my, what is that? Come on, let's get you up out of there! Okay, now what the heck is that thing? It's like a huge mouth in the ground? Some sort of... heck mouth? Sure, yeah, heck mouth. The heck mouth. I... I don't think I can see the bottom. Ugh. Gives me the willies. Yep. Wow. That is bottomless. Well, we, we can't just leave something like this exposed. We, we should cover it up. Yeah, agreed. Get some dirt, fill in the hole. Sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way we came, though. It's just gravel. Oh, I actually have to look? Ooh. There, come on. Nerd pull. Just build a straight, just build straight up, nerd pull. Oh, there's a path. Okay. So close to Beacon Town. It's right underneath it. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something. Warning, Heckmouth. <laughs> Just full on, like straight to the point. I like it. Okay then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. And you trust this guy? Yeah. I mean, I never met him before, but I've heard a lot of good things. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. Okay. Come on, you. What about my hand? This thing won't come off. I... Yeah, I, I know, I know. But this llama... Why is that llama so important to you? <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one, with all the enchantments. Miss Butter? Yeah, I... I... Kinda got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while. And now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. Mm. It's, uh, it's been not great. I can't believe this person tricked you. That's terrible and so unfair. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more. So yeah, her, her name's Stella and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, her... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like, Champion City right over there? I had no idea their leader was like that. Yeah, she's... ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating... Without my sword? I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. You're one of my best friends, and it sounds like you really need my help. For the record, I don't need help, but thank you. Don't worry, we're gonna get this whole mess sorted out. Hope you're right. 
Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand! They full on just have another city. With a llama statue, what the hell? This is it, Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Mm, I don't know if this is quite my taste. I prefer what we're doing in Beacon Town. Yeah, Stella always wants everything exactly her way. Doesn't matter how other people want to build. That's why I like Beacon Town better, too. <coughs> what? Come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. Hey, that's why you've got me, remember? We're a team. We will take care of this no problem. Sure hope you're right. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. Okay. Oh, we can move around. Okay. Um... So, I am going to be kind of honest with you guys here. It is getting a bit further into this episode. I think this is about where I would like to uh, cut it here. So that way we can get two episodes out of this first episode, or two parts. But yeah. Anyways, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also remember to ring the notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. And if you guys want to go above and beyond, I do offer... Uh, YouTube channel memberships uh, all you really get though right now from them is just a special title in the discord so if you want to you can but yeah this has been Gunshy Amore signing off peace <laughs>